Atletico Madrid, who play Leipzig this week. Um, yeah. Did that win against Liverpool really reignite Atletico's season this year? And is there a real belief that they can go win this tournament now? I think so, but I think also reinforced the, the idea of football. Because until that moment, I think there was a lot of questions about whether, again, I mean, this is, I think, happens every season with Cholo Simeone, whether he should play nice style, better football, because the, the money they spend, the players they have, etc. But I think it, it reinforced the idea, not only on the players themselves, uh, but also to the fans and the club. Because, of course, beating Liverpool was a great, great thing to do in the way they did it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sure it boosts the confidence. I think they know, and knowing Cholo would be saying, you know, that's the past. We need to focus on, on what is coming. And you know, we're taking Leipzig uh, team and, and game as, as if it was Liverpool themselves, uh, taking it as seriously as that and, and very focused. And also, I think it has to do with the way Atletico Madrid is, is been playing better and better as the season has gone through. Uh, I think a lot to do, again, with Cholo, finding the players... Uh, the peak of the form, like with Llorente, with Correa, with um, uh, what's his name? It's called Mahal now. Uh, when he went to China, um, uh, anyway. So, so finding the right players at the right moment and put them and, and making the, mess, the, the most of them. Uh, it's also allowed Atletico Madrid to to win the games. Uh, Morata as well, finding a bit more confidence. And so, I think yes, it's a bit of a bit of both, but definitely winning Liverpool. He's been, he's been a boost uh, for them. I mean, that was a classic Diego Simeone performance, wasn't it, from Atletico at Anfield? Um, so we're not going to see them open it up and get all expansive against Leipzig. We're going to see some yeah. classic Diego Simeone Atletico. Yeah, with yeah. We do, uh, well, if someone is expecting that, he's not seen Atletico Madrid for the last few years. And of course, there's no team aware now for Leipzig. So would you make Atletico favourites going into this one? It could be. Of course, it makes it. I mean, more definitely more exciting uh, for us watching it. It's, it's another final. We have extra finals until the final. For players, it makes it. I think it also more exciting in the way that you know there's less margin for error. It's, it's, you can make mistakes. Any mistake can cause you being out. It's no second game when you think, okay, we're playing home or whatever it is. I think it suits well Atletico Madrid in the way they don't rely as much on the on the on the ground or the home ground or the away. Uh, uh, they feel quite comfortable in all those uh, situations and so I do, I do think yeah Atletico Madrid could benefit from that because they will they will play the usual at the back trying to 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 um, um, how do you say. Um, Drain the energy of, of the opponent team and trying to get them tired, and of course, expect, uh, uh, wait and expect to get the chances and make the most of it. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think, I think one, one knockout game won't like probably benefit a little bit as well. And if you look at the way the draws worked out as well, I mean, that's opened up really well for Atletico Madrid, and um, don't want to blow our own trumpet, but at Sporting Life in our pre season predictions. We picked Bayern and Atletico Madrid and they could meet in the final now, couldn't they? So we're looking pretty good here. And Atletico obviously got to those two finals a while back now. Diego Simeone really wants this, doesn't he? Yes, of course. It's, it's, uh, I mean, Atletico Madrid has become a club, a team that is, every season is, is challenging, is, is fighting for trophies. Uh, not the pressure that maybe Barca or, or, or Real Madrid has in the way that by not winning it, it's not the end of the world, um, but it, it has the idea of being there. Uh, so, Atletico Madrid, since Cholo especially, is playing every every tournament that is involved to actually win it. And, and of course, Champions League is, is the one. After after being involved in two and not winning it, they, they stand a chance. They, they do. Um, because, like I said, for me, the way they've, they've arrived to the tournament, He's probably the best Atletico we've, we've seen so far this season. And that's what you want to do. You want to uh, arrive to, to this stage of the season in the best possible uh, form. And, and that's Atletico Madrid. Not only as a team, but also as individuals. Uh, like I was saying earlier, they have so many different 
options in in all the lines and and the goalkeeper again has, has been has been incredible this season once more so it, it could be the one it could be the one what a game we've got here on barcelona versus bayern munich i mean is this all about Lionel Messi? Obviously, they'll be so disappointed not to win the league this year. But is this really crucial now that they do well and have to win this tournament now? Well, it is. We were saying earlier about the pressure of big teams by, about winning trophies. Barca is the only one that's got left. And, and with everything that is going in the, in the team, in the club, I think um, winning it will help in many ways. By not winning it, it will not help in so many other ways. Um, so that on one side, on another, another, another uh, uh, matters. Messi and Barca need this, this trophy so badly in the way they've, they've not done it for so many years. And and when you look at the, the trophies they've won, the Champions League is the one that they've been wanting, really wanting, uh, in the last two or three seasons. Um, to the point to making it public that yeah, Champions League at one point was the target. Uh, so yes, this 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 championship for them is is probably uh, an even bigger objective than it probably would have been. Uh, not only Messi for the team and the club, uh, it's not easy. It's got Bayern Munich up front, uh, which for me is one of the favourites in the way they've been playing, in the way they've um, started competition before anyone else. Now they've had the break, so that. It seems like the timings are perfect for them to to arrive and and, and for me collectively and also individually um, with with Lewandowski scoring goals and having that confidence uh, that's what you need you need uh, that sort of uh, momentum when it gets this time of the season um, and it's not going to be easy for Barca if Barca plays at the level they're capable of Bayern will have it difficult but if the Barca that it turns up is the one that is not so solid and not so um, uh, clinical when it comes to score goals. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna suffer, and, and and it's probably the worst opponent you could have in these quarterfinals is, is Bayern Munich. And so that's why Barca, in a way, also maybe is better that from from the moment they put the, the game starts. There's no margin of error, and from that moment to the end of the competition, in, in that way, it's good. Just you have to put everything on the on the pitch from the from the very best moment. And there's obviously loads of talk about Lionel Messi and this contract that's up for real next year. There's no possibility, is it, that we could be seeing the end of his time in Barcelona if they don't win this Champions League this year? I don't think so. I mean, I would say no for definite. Uh, the fact. <laughs> The fact that uh, the contract situation, the fact that a year in a club, in a big club, in a year and Barca by not winning trophies, like I said, it could it could have a, a bigger impact than winning it. It might hide when you win a trophy. Trophies might hide some things that you might not want to see, but if you don't win it, it makes all those things even bigger, and it makes some players important players. Think about the future. What's the future bringing? I think for Messi, the the, the big the biggest thing is he wants to be in a team that is selling his trophies, that is reliable, that he enjoys his football, and, and he knows that. And if Barca doesn't do that, um, I'm sure at least the question will go through his head. Um, uh, I'm I'm on the ones that again, like you, I like to see Messi finishing his career at Barcelona. I think it's great to see a player like him uh, being devoted to one club. Uh, because it's not something we see very often nowadays. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens firstly in the Champions League. And then was the new project for Barca, was, was the, uh, the prospect of, of, of players coming, players leaving. I mean, I think it's the other way around. Players leaving and players coming. They need to let players go before they bring other players. Otherwise, they, they, can't, they can't sign any more players. I was going to say that it must be a crucial summer for not only Messi but Barcelona. Do you think will Messi have an input even into what players come back? Because I mean, if you look at what Barcelona have done recently in the transfer market, they've spent a lot of money on Dembele, Coutinho, uh, Griezmann even has not really worked out as well as they would have anticipated. 
that they need to sort those three in particular out first before they can then go and buy players? And would they even think about trying to get Neymar back again? Well, first they need to, like I said, need to sell. They need to uh, make space for the new ones. It is true that, that all those signings in the last two, three years haven't worked out in a way either both players and club wanted uh, for different reasons. Uh, and that's, of course, um, put Barca in the situation that there, there is. Uh, again, they need to, to sell players before they come. I mean, that's, that's, that's a fact. Um, uh, and then who's living, how much money you got left to, fi- to buy new players, which new players are available. So there's not many players in, in this situation, not many, player, uh, not many clubs will be willingly to sell certain players. So I think markets is becoming quite a strategic um, scenario at the moment with, 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 with having finances limited. Uh, so yeah, it's, I think it's, it could be a turning point. It's definitely a, a, a really uh, delicate moment for Barca in, in, that, in that matter by Champions League and, and the future. Like I said, I think for Messi, that's very important. And for any player coming to Barca, any player, any potential player in the future, being on, on, on the players uh, to go to Barca will be asking, what was the project? What was the perspective of the team going back to the best? And, you know, and yeah, so it, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see the next few months for, for the club, how, how things are going to be uh, moving around. I think one of the most fascinating ones for us over here is Felipe Coutinho, who was such a great player for Liverpool, yeah. a great player in the Premier League, and yet didn't work out at Barca, doesn't seem to have worked out at Bayern. Have you any inside information on where he's going for us or what you think will happen with him? Because he was such a fantastic footballer. It really is a shame to see sort of his demise in a way. And now he's been touted about maybe being out on loan, but I presume Barcelona are going to want to get some money back for him this summer in order to spend if they ended up selling them, yeah, I'm sure Barca would want some money, but um, I think they're sensible enough to know that to get the whole amount is going to be difficult. Uh, no, I mean, what well, I know, it's, it's difficult when you go to any big club uh, to adapt, to, to, to settle, to understand the dynamics. Barca is such a, a strong sort of uh, inside of his own philosophy. That it makes it very difficult for me. We've seen it before. We've seen uh, Henri, we've seen uh, Villa. Great, great players needing time to adapt to, to Barca. And I think Coutinho was, was no different to, to that. Uh, needed time to adapt. Um, and things didn't kind of work in the way that it was. The Jong, the same. I think a bit different. We've seen a bit more, more of uh, the Jong that we saw at Ajax, that we saw that Coutinho, that we saw at Liverpool. But it, was a, it could have been a matter of time. But patience is not something that in football applies. And, and, and with Coutinho, I think, of course, the price tag is playing a big, a big role in all of this, that, that, that um, mostly fans and media is, is, is not have patience, patience with him. Uh, because, I, we, well, I like Coutinho, I saw, I saw things of Coutinho that remind me of Coutinho. And like I said, again, it's, about, it's a matter of time that he needed in the club, but that's not gonna, that wasn't going to happen. Uh, Dembele with injuries. Uh, and, and Griezmann, again, I think it's similar in that respect, that his profile type of football is no perfect match for Barca. So both sides need to work out on how to make it work. And, and they're there. They, they, I think... Slowly, you can see the movement that he makes, the runs that he makes is not like he used to be or what he was used to. Now we see more more occupying the space rather than making runs all the time. Um, so it, it's, a, it's a matter of time to, to that great players adapt to, to the system. Sometimes the system needs to adapt a bit to, to the players. But when you have such an influence like is Leo Messi, it, it's also a tap in a positive note, uh, the difficulties because, because you know, the ball is, is more, a lot of the time on him and you need to adapt to, to him and to the club. So that doesn't make it easy. But again, it's, they're great players. They, there's no excuse. They need, to, 
they need to adapt to to whatever they go. And just finally, uh, he's not in the Champions League now. But I've got to ask you as a La Liga expert, Gareth Bale at Real Madrid didn't even make the trip to Manchester City. Zidane says he didn't want to play. Um, we just can't really understand what's going on there. Such a great player, Bale, such a great manager, such a great team. And yet the relationship seems to have totally broken down at all. Have you got any inside information on that? What is going on with Gareth Bale and where will he end up playing next season? Some, but I can't really tell. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, for me, it's a shame to see these kind of situations where a player like him that we love watching uh, in a club or, or manager or teammates, well, not so much teammates, but club and manager kind of that doesn't work. I mean, it's come to a point where, where even when it comes to big games, we don't see him on the squad. Uh, I mean, he's still got contract. Uh, how what's gonna happen next year? It's, it's I don't think nobody knows. Uh, um, it's uh, I mean, like I say, it's, it's sad to see these these things when when you have such a talented player. Um, uh, and in a club like Madrid that can make it work or couldn't make it work. Now, of course, it's too late. Um, it's a big move. So it's a big move, money involved in the move for thinking where he could go. I mean, if, if that wasn't an issue, any club, of course, big clubs in the Premier League will take him, I think, any time, any day. But because the, the, the money that is involved, I think it, it's down to what Real Madrid wants to do with him. Again, he's got a salary that he needs to be paid. It's not like he's finishing contract, it's, or he still has a contract. So it's, it's about that. It's about is he willing to negotiate his contract differently? Is Madrid going to allow him in a way to sell him to a different price so he can go? What, what I can see uh, is him being there for another year like this. Uh, I think it's a situation that isn't good for anyone. Uh, the, the, the dressing room having him like that, uh, the club, the image of the club like Real Madrid for the manager. You don't want a player that you know it's, it's tension uh, between them. Uh, so I'm sure they'll find a solution. Which one? I don't have that information. I wish I had, but, <laughs> but I don't have that. that. It must be really strange as a player. You didn't have that problem. Everybody loved you, Valencia, uh, Middlesbrough fans favorite everywhere, but. He even fallen out with the fans as well. And as a player, that must be really hard to go to a team knowing that the fans, you know, Real Madrid fans haven't really taken to him. A few of them have been booing him and waving the white handkerchiefs at him. His manager doesn't want to play him. As a player, how, how would that affect him? Would he just not want to leave as soon as he can? Well, I, I think we need, we need to think a bit about the whole situation. There's a lot to do with media in the way they are... Uh, What's the word? Um, let's be careful. <laughs> um, but making it slightly bigger, let's put it that way. So I don't think the problem with the fans is as big as sometimes it, it looks it is. Uh, because when it's played, yeah, there's always been a section of, of Madrid fans that, but it happened to Beckham, it happened to Zidane when it arrived. I mean, Madrid fans are, are very demanding. And, and it's happened to other great players that Madrid had. Um, and he's been through that as well. But when he's played and he's scored, the Bernabeu has, has, has clapped him and has, has cheered him as, as any other player. I think it's, it's more to do with, with his own situation, knowing that, he's, that playing is, is, is not an option now. In my case, yeah, like you said, I was lucky that, that whether if I play or not, people knew that, that it wasn't because myself it wasn't because i was not turning hard i put everything there to to try to perform and to play it was done to the manager at the time that whatever he decided uh with belly different because like you say it's, it's a sector of the fans that you know has lost his patience with him and 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 as far as i know in the dressing room there's no issues with him teammates you know they, 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 they they're okay with him they understand his uh something different to that. Uh, and I think they, they, it's got the support for the dressing room, but it's, it's not easy. That's why I said, what I don't see from my own experience and for what I know, I don't see another season like this. So they will have to find a solution, whatever that, whatever that is. That, that, that's something club, player, 
uh, manager that triangle that binomium will have to find a, a solution for for resolve that.